nothing to do with it. So go ahead, let's get it popping. Bodies, the bodies, the bodies, the bodies. Well, first off, I didn't appreciate you said something. You was like, you know, Tommy bring the bells, and you act like a nigga just have these fucking belts. You talking to me? Daddy <laughs> said that. You act like a nigga just walk around with these. <laughs> you shits. walk around with that and shit. You act like a nigga just walk around with the belt. I I, I don't get that. Why, why you believe this? I don't know. Just so happy to be here. Second off, I I did listen, and I think uh contradiction is probably one of the words that you might want to use about yourself, brother, because you said people don't have to call people's names when they disagree with them. And you were calling me a name, and I don't even know who you are, and I don't know you exist. And the great thing about it is I don't know you exist, and you know who I am. So that Damn. against what you're talking about. You knew who I was, sir. You did. You even said, I, I think you saw you on the video. You just saw some nigga on the video. Okay, so you're going to sit here and deny that you knew who I was. That's what you're going to do? You were one of 500 people. All I said was you know who I am. Was that a question? Yeah, you're right. I do. Are you one of the 500 people that's going to have to. And what you're doing at that point is acting like women do when they see right. something that don't go their way. They'll start arguing that's against question. You asked me if I knew who you were. I said, yes, you're one of the 500 people that appeared on, appeared on Hamp Show. Go ahead. Now, look, it doesn't matter if I'm one of the 500 people. You know who I am. I don't give a fuck. Cool. And then you said it don't matter. You're one of the 500 do. people that appeared on Hamp Show. Continue. And you still know who I am. All right, cool. You're one of the people, people on earth. I don't know who you are. That's I don't great. know who your views are, but I surely wouldn't put you down before I knew you. Okay. That I wouldn't do. Right. I would try to see what you thought first. Mm -hmm. Now, you said that you wanted to have an intellectual conversation, and yet I brought you one, and yet it's still bothering you. I haven't said one thing wrong. I'm not bothered. You called me out my name, and I didn't call you out your name. I didn't call you out your you name. I described you. Well, then by that logic, I describe a bitch as a bitch. It's a descriptive word. Mm, I don't think it is a descriptive word that um, describes any human say, I don't think. I want y'all to understand, as a man, we don't say I don't think. Hey, you don't tell me what you fact. You don't get it this. Is a a Wait a minute, sir. The term is a, the term bitch is wow, a descriptor. Wow. It's a female dog. Female so dog. You, you using that word to describe any female for being that. Someone says that, that is the descriptor. If I call a woman a queen that does not right, own right. land and does not rule a kingdom, I still called her that. If I call her a, a, a 10, so she's cool, not cool. a numeral. So you're using inaccurate descriptions. Okay, continue. If you would like to sit up here, when you, argue, if you would like to argue semantics instead of agree with them, then I'll let you do it with someone else. Because here's what I'm not going to do. I'm not going to sit and argue like a woman with you when you claimed you wanted to have a logical and intellectual conversation. I'm having a lot. If you choose, you can go right back to them and I'll let you do it. You missed I'm not going to play that game. You mischaracterized one of my statements. You said I called you out of your name. I said I didn't. I simply said I described you. That's all I and said. And then what did I say? I said, and bitch is a descriptor as well. And did I, I argue say, with you when you said you described me? It's not an argument. It's a discussion. You Wait a minute. Did I argue with you when you said you described me? No. That don't Should have nothing to do with me. What you chose to do and what I chose to do. I'm going to ask you again. I'm going to ask you again. Can I ask you a question? No. I, hold on. I have respect for the show and the people of the show. I'm trying mm -hmm. to have a regular conversation with you. But I'm not gonna have a childish one with you. I don't give a fuck with you. You right. called me out my name. I pointed it. I described you. And you said no, I didn't. I described you. Mm -hmm. And I said, cool. So I also, when I call a woman a bitch or a hoe, it is a descriptor. That is a fact. Can, can I address Either, that part? It's like you don't believe that is a, you don't believe it's an accurate descriptor. I don't believe what you called me was an accurate one. All right, all right. Continue. All right. You you're right. It is sad, ladies and gentlemen, and I want y'all to see this, that the person who's supposed to be taken up for black women. Why not taking up for anyone? See, now you already got it wrong. So let me stop you there. I didn't come out here taking up for anyone. I, I, I have said nothing about black women since I've been on here. I've only talked about the niggas who be on the Internet talking about women. I'm talking about you. I ain't said nothing about black women since I stepped foot on here. I but watched please. the comment section and I watched the women say you were taking up for them. So that's why I said it, sir. They believe you're taking up for them. Oh, okay. That's all. Mm -hmm. Just like if you believe that chaotic truth was speaking for lame niggas. Mm -hmm. okay. It seems like we cannot get past the conversation where I don't stop him every five seconds, but he stops me.
You, hey, you can ask me an accurate story. I'll let I you, I'll let you talk. I'm going to give you the floor. I'd understand if he stopped me when I was wrong, but he doesn't. He just stops me to be talking. Now, again, let's move to this idea of he said this other nigga's a nerd. Bill Gates is a nerd. Steve Jobs is a nerd. Last I checked, a brother by the name uh, of the man who owns Twitter, Elon Musk. Elon Musk. He also is a nerd. Black folks are the only folks that think that saying the word nerd to someone mm. is a diss. But it's fine as long as they realize that almost everything that they using to get online to talk shit about people came from them same nerds. And the sorry part about this is we have a black community that will diss someone over their intelligence. You got people right now who's sitting up here talking about some Tommy is losing. Your moderators. How the hell am I losing when I've literally been right the whole time? And the Negro who's saying it keeps saying it over and over again. Tommy's losing. Well, what part did I lose? See, you got a man that started off saying that women shouldn't be called out their name. And I can respect that. But at the same time, called men out their name. And that goes back to the whole idea that women shouldn't be hit, but men should be hit. Women shouldn't be disrespected, but men should be disrespected. And I think that is an odd thing to do. Because if you really wanted to have an intellectual discussion, brother, you would have came up in here with an open mind and an open ear to hear what each person had to say before you did as they did you try to diss you. You can't talk to me about traveling. You can't talk to me about money. And you can't talk to me about hoes. Because I can promise you, I have more of each of them than you. Damn. Damn. You don't believe that. Um, <laughs> so I, I'm I not. Turn the camera around. I could turn the camera around and show I'm not you. I'm talk to you about it. You I don't could believe turn that. the camera around and show you. Don't you. you don't believe that. Anyway. You could, wait a minute, sir. Google how much I'm worth. Google how much you want. I don't need to Google. I got a. I got an app for that. No, no. Google how much I want, and then Google how much you want. My turn to talk. All right. So, like the man in the comment says, you've been wrong. You're still wrong, right? You said I called you out your name. I didn't call you out your name. I described you. That's a fact. You said using the word bitch is a descriptor. It's a descriptor for a female dog. It can't be a descriptor for a woman, right? Because women can't possibly be female dogs. So it's an accurate description. So you're stupid again. Right. So everything that's coming out your mouth is stupid and inaccurate. And you want to try to act like you're having an intelligent conversation. You're not. Right. And you just want to use another one of the lambs in the manosphere. The niggas I'm talking about. You don't get no women. Don't even don't, definitely don't even have that conversation with me about you getting more women. Than me. We're not in the same stratosphere. So don't go there. You one of the niggas that get on here and argue with my women all day because you don't have no women. If you had a woman, you wouldn't have time to be on here. Every day, seven days a week. By your logic. I was a day. Hmm. By his logic, first off, this man said he don't know me. I'm one of several niggas. Then he said, if I had a woman, I wouldn't be able to be on here for hours every day. Sir, there are several days I'm not on here. Period. I don't, I don't, I don't know. You are married and you are here. And right. And exactly. he's married. And he's I, took, I, I, took, I took time I out my day, I took time out my day there, to save my brother. I'm going to say that I'm failing as a man who this. sits here who I'm has not. a wife, a wife says to somebody let me explain something to you sir i get paid to be online i am never online i wouldn't talk to none of you niggas if i wouldn't get money in my pocket so you doing it for free sir, sir. I, I guarantee my boy hat from the lanes like you let, let, let's play let's play you told me i don't have more money than you my house is 8100 square feet how big is yours big enough is it 8100 square feet Nah, it's about 4,500 square feet. It ain't a nigga I'm talking to on here that's got an 8,100 square feet house. They can tell you how big my backyard is. People come in my house and they're straight impressed when they see it. You sit up here, you can see in my in my garage, in my uh, driveway, Cadillac cars, Cadillac trucks, and Lexus. Not a Cadillac, damn, you rich as fuck. Psych. And not only is my Cadillac, I got a CT6 that was 
made from scratch. Nobody else got one. It's got the peanut butter and jelly inside now. It's you white. You a rich lame nigga. Damn. You a rich lame nigga. Damn. That nigga, hey, it's a rich lame nigga. How? That's a good no, one. No, no, no. I'm trying to point something out yeah, that's to you. That's a good one. You man. should have a discussion on the topic. Lame nigga with a lot of money. Gonna... Yeah, that's what's up. So you should have a discussion on the topics. Because, see, Negroes love to talk about things that don't matter. And I don't see how calling somebody a lame, since you said words don't describe, or I use the word that don't describe. Well, a descriptor does not have to be what it is, because if I describe something as square, well, he's not square, is he? He doesn't have four 90-degree angles on him. Now, does he? But you're going to sit up here and try to be silly, and anybody with an intelligence knows what a descriptor is. It does not have to be exact. That's why it's called something used to describe. If you say it's hot as hell, you don't know how hot hell is, but that is a descriptor. But you won't be honest and say, he's right. A descriptor is, if I think that this woman is a female dog, that is true in the term of a descriptor. But you call people lame. And if you yes. look up lame, these people aren't lame. Dude, I looked it up a minute ago. Your picture was in it. <laughs> I don't get the joke. I understand. Again, I, I tell y'all, and this is what I love. <laughs> I looked up lame and your picture was in it. Yeah, your picture was right next to it. This is why you don't see very many blacks doing debates. Yeah. Because blacks think that either being louder than you, I'm not more crass than you, or kicking some joke makes you win. And that. again, I've asked this man respectfully. I haven't called him out of his name yet. I, I have asked this man to discuss the topic. He can't do it. What's and the topic? Ask me a question. Up, Ask me a question. And he sits up there. Ask me a question. And he sits right. up there. Right. So you didn't want to discuss the topic. Blank, right. white ass wall, oh. trying to talk like he's bigger than someone else. Being online, saying, how dare you be online? Sure. Well, let me tell you something. For sure. Were I a married a married man and I had a woman mm -hmm. who sat and watched me be online talking to niggas for hours for free, telling them how they online talking for hours, yeah. she probably leave me. You know uh -huh. why? Because while I'm sitting here making sure that bills is getting paid, you sitting up here hoping that somebody remember your name after you talk to me. These are facts. I you called me. You wanted me. I didn't call you. I don't know your number. I don't know your name. I don't know your number or your name, nigga. I did not call you. You can't tell me one you. thing I've said that is wrong or how it was out of line, but I you will listen to you since I'm so lame. Tell me. With respect. Man, I stated my points. I don't even know what your rebuttal is. Uh, again, niggas who's on the internet every day, even if you get paid. To I'm be not on the internet day. Day, Gossiping about You're women, not. arguing about women, complaining about women. I'm Isn't literally that? not on here every day, sir. And you said you don't care if I get paid. So if it's my job, it's lame. Got yes. it. You chose a lame profession. What the fuck you want me to tell you? Wait a minute. And so did the garbage collector. Man, and y'all the same. Well, to this point, can I mention? Can I say to add to his point though? No, no if if no, if y'all keep didn't. jumping in, I'm gonna drop everybody in the back. I'm waiting I on to wait till this conversation is over. I don't understand why he won't do it. I don't. Who I don't know who told you you were some kind of comedian. Yeah, but I guess that's your stick. I ain't told no jokes but again. I have not no once. So, I have not once did anything but try to address you so as a man. And I know Tommy, that before y'all did this, go ahead. Tommy, real quick. So you you laid the floor down. You you put out what you need to put out. So right, Corey, Corey, he didn't necessarily... Damn, I'm getting an echo. Tommy, I'm just going to mute you while I'm talking for some reason. It might be me, though. Um, check, 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 check. Um, okay. So, Corey, how about some of the talking points? Um, what was the issue you had with Tommy specifically? I, we understand the lame point in terms of being a YouTuber, right? Even when you mm -hmm. say it, it might sound corny. I, we understand, right? But it's it's lucrative if you do it right. 
Um, sure. you were saying the 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 is it the vitriol that you hear when Tommy was addressing the women on particular panels of of this might be risky? Did you feel like it was unnecessary? Did you feel like it was pointless? Do you feel like he's trying to be demonstrative as opposed to help build? Like what 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 was your disagreement with that type of stuff? Uh, I don't think he's obligated to help build. Um, I do think like um obviously some of the the language was 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 uh what i consider vulgar and unnecessary i think like some of his comments even though i don't remember all word for word like it was like stuff around like um like uh white women and comparing white women to his comparisons of white women to black women and stuff like that which i which i thought were, were, were fairly lame too um but just stuff like that I, i'd have to uh like i said i don't i don't be i don't i don't i don't know him so i don't write down this shit but yeah, shit like so, that. You know what I'm talking just, about. Just to clarify the point, um, you were saying specifically you seen Tommy on this channel. That's how you knew yeah. him, not necessarily Tommy from Tommy putting in work for the last 15 years or so, right? Not at all. I don't, um, I don't watch none of this other stuff. I, and, I watch your stuff every once in a while. That's it. And so, uh, what you're saying, like the concern is when Tommy says things like black women do X, Y, and Z, right? Because he may not necessarily say white women do it better. But I, I don't know if he's saying that, but he says what black women do wrong um, in that which doesn't help our relationship. Do you have an issue with that type of shit specifically? Um, I think I have an issue, like I said, just with the overall um, like concept of, 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 of adult men uh, online, like what I would call like chatting and gossiping like women about women. Um, you know on the regular since they is not daily apparently on the regular i just think that's not that's not a super, that's not a real masculine thing to do and and, and i feel like and i feel like if you got these like real negative experiences with women that's probably on you you know what i'm saying that's probably because you you bringing that up on yourself um now we do know again i may i'm a nerd so maybe a lot of y'all haven't been in uh debate but in debate, we don't start off calling people names, number one. Number two, if we do have a real issue with someone, we bring up a real issue. Now, the person said that I'd talk about white women and then left it at that because they know that black women get triggered by hearing the word white women. All you got to do is throw white women out there. You can trigger the hell out of them. But he didn't tell you what I said about white women. No, he didn't. He just told you I said something about white women, and that was enough. And we're nah. black people who have been... I'll let you talk about that. We're black people who have been, especially black males, who've been arrested with little to no evidence, who've been convicted with little to no evidence. And I would hope that black people would deal with each other, especially black men would deal with each other when we speak to each other off at least things that we know when we call each other names and try to ruin each other's name and ruin each other's lives. I would hope we would speak on things that we know, because, again, we've had so much done to us based upon people just having a thought and spreading that thought and other people eating that thought that I was a dummy and thought that if I came up here, I would actually have an adult conversation about things that I've done and things that I've said. And what makes it worse, brother, is that you got people in the comment section who agree with you when you've said nothing only because they don't like me. Who've done nothing to them. And that is the exact same thing that right. white folks do to blacks. Gotcha. So I don't remember what you said specifically because I don't really like to uh, intake and hold in lame shit. Right. So when I hear this shit, I try to let it go in one out the other. So I'm never going to remember the dumb shit you say. Right. But the people in the panel who are really stop me, saying it. The you still can't stop talking the like people, a child. I never I talk how I want to talk. That we start now, there. Okay, wait. By that logic, you have no other reason to talk to me because I talk how I want to talk, and that other brother talk like he want to talk, and every brother who talks talk like they want to talk. See, All you right. sound like since we gonna disrespect each other like a bitch when you say I'm grown when you do something, but you don't give everybody else that same pass of right. they grown too. So shut the fuck up when they being grown like you are. First off, suck my dick. Go there. See, there you go. <laughs> How about that? Okay, almost, uh, almost, yeah. homosexual. 
I, I, I had the same one intent because I spoke with you the same energy you had. Damn, you had to the back, head turned to the back, looking like a lame ass motherfucking me. Wayne Brady. You I can see why your, your wall ain't got no problem. And see why your house is small as your hat. <laughs> Nigga, I can understand. You Mama. can't talk to me like that, motherfucker. <laughs> why you running around asking what? other men to suck your dick? Your <laughs> wife must yeah. not be doing a job. Damn. Go play go you play play man to suck your dick? Mm. Oh, traffic, nigga. So you got oh. to disrespect me for minutes upon minutes. You go heard one argue, thing go and you went to suck your dick. I thought you bro. was a man, not a masculine bitch, not a feminine bitch. Go, go argue with me about women some more. Bitch out of nowhere. Huh. Damn. Um, damn. Um, damn. Um, damn. Um, hey, next time you think of a man sucking your dick, you call the White House or tell your wife you play for both teams. You the shit. You the shut down old Tony. You need to give you seven hundred million dollars because you can argue with women, man. You out there swinging hey. from both sides of the plate. Hey, My tough, God, go argue man. about women. You told me to suck go your dick, and you feel real good uh, about yourself. I want every woman to see have, how this thing gonna set up here with them bare skin walls. Huh? Ain't Fast nothing but nigga. motherfucking white. No, he I talking about him suck my dick after he done disrespected me since he came up here. Damn. Hey, the lameness is breaking Don't me out. Man. I'm starting to get allergic. I can't. I can't Don't really be around much. these type of niggas too long. Hey, you ask so, a man to suck your dick. Your wife ain't Tommy, shit. Tommy, question. Mm -hmm. The people that are seemingly agreeing because uh, Master C is disagreeing with you. Why is that? See, let me give you an example. Okay. The Alabama Crimson Tide. Nobody want Alabama to win. Uh huh. Tired of seeing them win. Uh huh. When Michael Jordan was winning all them championships, they were cheering for everybody. You see how they gave other niggas like Charles Barkley and Steve Nash the MVP? Because who was the true MVP every year? Uh, probably Shaq. Old oh boy, I'll slap you. You know, it was Mike. <laughs> Mike was the MVP. Oh, oh, oh. Every year. okay. Back, back, back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Come okay. on. Mike was the MVP every year, but they get tired of the guy winning. It's so many people who keep hoping somebody will beat me. But let me tell you the best way to beat me. Beat? It's not a competition. If what you say, let me tell you something. We will believe that if we think this guy's a criminal, we yeah. want the DA to show his crimes, That's not call him names. Mm -hmm. Black folks have been subjected to, they have very little evidence on us. So they plant the seed in the jury's mind that even if we don't have the evidence, Look at him. Yeah. And I sustain that we do that to each other. I did not judge this man on anything other than well, let me well, hear what he has to say. Well, Tommy, follow up on that though. So I'm looking in the chat, right? Because you you know I'm I'm a uh, what is it called when you make sure you listen to understand, you look at things to understand what it is, like you I, I'm trying to gain as much insight as possible, right? You know, I'm mm -hmm. intentional, right? Um I'm seeing that it's majority of women agreeing with him. Mm -hmm. Why is Isn't that? What I said when I came up, sir. Isn't that what I said when I came up? You came to that conclusion, Hamp. Oh, I said I'm, I'm, I'm counting. I'm counting, like in terms of people who are agreeing, like saying Tommy is at whatever. Mm -hmm. Tommy, why is it women more so that are siding with Master C? Oh, I love this question. Because if you look up, and I talk about him all the time, because his death was horrible. You look up a man named Merlin Santana. Mm -hmm. A woman went to get a man. She had been cheating on Merlin. Uh, she had been cheating with Merlin Santana. She had a man. She mm -hmm. wanted Merlin to, leave, to, to be with her so she could leave her man. When mm -hmm. Merlin didn't leave, she went back to her man and said that he raped me. Yeah, her man I'm killed not. Merlin. Mm -hmm. See, these women, they love to pit men against each other. So okay. they will say things to me like when I'm arguing with, with one of them, he don't argue with no man like that. Well, then where is a man at that's disrespecting me? You're disrespecting me, ma'am. Why are you trying to bring a man involved in it? You're acting as a man, so you should be treated as one. Okay. So these women see a, a guy up here and they're thinking, we need a hero. We hold mm -hmm. it on to a hero to the morning light. He got to be strong and he got to be pure and he got to be fast in the fight. They want anybody to beat me. Mm. And they their idea of beating me is calling me a name. His name is Tammy. Hey, we got to beat him. 
We got to beat him by doing something stupid. But no one can beat me on the subject in which I talk about. Have you noticed this never happens? No one says, here's what you said. Here's why it's wrong. So if I beat a nerd, if I beat up Elon Musk, does that mean he's wrong about an equation? If I beat up Steve Jobs, if I call Steve Jobs a name, is he wrong about how to create the iPhone? But in the black circles, it's true. If I dish you, you're wrong. And I'll give you this one last example. Okay. When I was in college, I had a friend named Mo. Mo is light-skinned and a handsome guy. I'm dark-skinned and ugly. Fast. I get it. And as I was talking, we had a discussion, and I said, Bruce Springsteen and Diana Ross share the same moniker. Their moniker was the boss. Mm-hmm. He looked at me, and he has a he has a mas- he has a uh, PhD in education. I have a master's in childhood psychology, but I'm ugly. When I said this, I know everybody in my college class was not ignorant to know that that was a real word. But he said, Monica. He didn't even say moniker. He said, Monica. Mm-hmm. I got a PhD in English, and I ain't never heard of that. And everybody started laughing. Three weeks later, he came back to me and he said, man, since you heard that, since you said that word, I've been hearing that word all over the place. I ain't never know that was a word. Now, let me ask you, why is it that nobody within the group stood up and said, but that is a word. Why are we laughing? Instead, they all laughed. Because they went with what was popular. They went with what looked good instead of what was good. And if you look at what's wrong with the black community, Mm-hmm. We will go with what looks and feel good than what is good. And the reason why those women want somebody to diss me instead of debate me, notice they never encourage someone to debate me. They encourage someone to call me names. Tell me I'm lying. Let me let me catch up on these super chats real quick. Unless Court Master C, you had a, a rebuttal for that specifically? I fell asleep on that shit, man. Marcellus, what's up? Uh- Oh, he said he gifted one membership. Whoever that landed on, we appreciate you just maintain it. Big bad boy, appreciate you gifted the membership. Also, you feel me? Thank you for the love. The Dame Pool wrote to the two dollars says, "Don't blame women because your choices are shit." T. Uh, DC with the two dollars says, "Tommy should have the Stone Cold theme song." I'm a DJ, goddamn. I got every song you can fucking think of. Black Dawn with the five dollars says, Isn't JP a jailbird? He never paid his parking tickets. Master C called him a lame two. G Firm with the two dollars says, Shout out to Uncle Rick, aka She Wallace. <laughs> Be love with the two dollars says, Define trash women, Master C. You want to define that quickly or you want me to get through the super chats first? Let me get through the super chats first. The fine trash women. The dating pool roast with the five dollars says no women. No wonder women don't listen. They always get blamed for everything. Stop blaming women. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Broke baby. I ain't got no money. Ooh, the dating pool roast with the twenty ball. I mean, good men good didn't have women. problems finding good women. Mm. MC Heavy Tips with the five says don't men tell women are wait hold on don't men tell women are wrong. Are with the wrong dude that she picked him. Okay, so yeah, Joe Pentagon with the well, Joe was popping with the five dollars says we damn near forty or older. If she realized if she really is idolizing the Megans or Cardis, she either too young or too immature. Um, LL Music was popping. Welcome with the two dollars says Tommy cooking them. Ashton Weems with the two dollars says Hamp, this your cousin? L O L. Yeah. <laughs> Tony Golden with two dollars says, C not here to really have a combo. He here to joke. What joke John I told? What John joke did I tell? John the Baptist with the two dollars says, What are we doing here? Still low key 21 with the five dollars says, I'm waiting for someone to pull C mask off and Dana pops up. They Ooh. sound just alike. Black Dawn with the five dollars says, I look up the word lame and I say, Your picture. This guy sucks. Christopher Lee with the final says, DJ Hamp, talk your shit and continue to prosper, my brother. Wish you and your fam nothing but the best. 
I'm gonna let the kids know, Chris, when I go tuck them niggas in, B. Appreciate you. G firm with the five dollars says that Stone Cold theme should play every time Tommy pops up on the panel. That shit do come. I might use that shit for myself. On oh, my eyes with the two dollars said the slaughter is on. T uh, oh Tommy with the Tommy for the win. Pele Pele 21 with the 20 out two dollars says DJ save your boy, he getting cooked. Black Dawn with the two dollars says, Can we get one thousand views for the new <laughs> fatty? That's a compliment, right? Just to make sure there's, I'm, a, I'm... there's a there's a big one. All right, just making sure <laughs> you know you keep me straight on these YouTube streets. You feel me? I don't be knowing. All my eyes with the five dollars says, If you don't watch, what the fuck are you on here with all these opinions? You speaking from a space of ignorance of what is going on. I can spot a lane quickly. I don't need to watch every day. Naf with the five dollars says, Hamp, keep it a buck. Dude's wife say those streams, wait, save those streams and put a battery in his back. He on his Will Smith shit. Nah. <laughs> Ashton Wee with the file says, black people come out the clouds and bushes just to tell us they a hater. Weird motherfuckers. Tony yep. Golden with the five dollars says, Master C had nothing left to say but obscenities laughing my ass off. He lost bad. This is who's you better. Me a bitch first before any obscenity came out of my mouth. That ain't even my style, but continue. This is who's better than the manosphere. Sheesh. Naked, naked. Wait, what? Naking the world go. Yeah, That's it. Naking the world go round. With the five dollars says, Master C, you mostly write about the manosphere, but the goofy false bravado was killing your argument. It ain't false, champ. I'm like, be this. love with be <laughs> love with two dollars says, Master C, <laughs> childish and no point made. Not impressed. Uh, MC Heavy Tits with the five dollars says, Tommy, you are not ugly. Top the pause, stop the Tommy slander. YKS was popping, my boy. Hope all is well. With the five dollars says, according to the women, MC Master Corey's opinion is worthless because he's married to a white woman, but against TS, Bunny Slayer is the man. Can't make this shit up. Yes, he is. He's married to white woman. His wife is black. She's another white. Hamp, seriously, he said nothing this whole time. Gway with the two dollars says, Derek Jackson, wannabe. <laughs> <laughs> Mike from Boston, what's popping? He just became a member. Appreciate you. Gunny J. Wells with the 10 dollars. Gunny, what up? Master C is a certified clown. Wow. He couldn't intelligently articulate his points, so he chose to throw insults like a broad. John the Baptist in the building. This is for Tommy to stop wasting his talent against this dude. I'm keeping that twenty dollars, goddamn. <laughs> yes, sir. It is your turn to talk, and then I'm gonna I'm put it back on the panel. All right. All right. Cool. But during Tommy Snooze Fest, man, I happened to remember which video I was watching um, that he was on. And I actually remember some points from it. Um, so I want to start by saying one of the things I talked about when we got up here was how, like, these lame dudes have bad experiences with women because they not, you know, they pick bad women because that's all they can get. And I think on the video I was watching the Tommy, he was talking about how he has, like, kids out of wedlock. And one of the ladies he has a kid with lied on the dude and sent to the prison three times or some shit like that right so it's a prime example of dudes like him picking bottom of the barrel women then living in the manosphere complaining about women all the time i would love to be able to respond to that of course she did it to him sir not so me. she's about here so she's a low-class woman and you Excuse picked me. it ma'am ma'am i didn't pick her here's what happened this was a woman i dealt with she had a fiance he picked her. She put him through the ringer. I saw it happen. I didn't get put through the ringer. But just like a person who sticks up for people who are hungry and homeless or homeless or people who are in jail, mm -hmm. like Kim Kardashian, she's not in jail, but she runs the uh, runs a lot of a portion of the Innocence Project. And she helps people who've been in jail. Now, if I point out that there are people who have cancer and can't afford the treatment, that doesn't mean I have cancer. That means I have empathy. That means that I look at these things and I can point out right from wrong. So you don't have to have experienced something to want to help the people who have. So I'm sorry that you call it lame that I talk about him who was treated wrong. 
not myself. Remember. But these are the type of women you, you said you didn't lose her, but you had a kid with her. That sounds like you kind sir, of said. Since you know the story so well, do I paint myself as a victim? Since you said that. Wait, you said have you, I painted a, myself you, have, as a you have a child with this woman, but then you said you didn't. I asked it. you a simple question. Have I painted myself a victim? I don't recall. You don't what? I don't recall. Well, okay, so you heard everything. I want y'all to hear what he said. Yeah, I like, I like to get to the meeting. You heard everything I said, but he no, never I heard, heard everything you said. Anything bad about my situation at all. I no, pointed what? out how messed up it is for the dude. I pointed out how it's not right for him to have raised this girl till she was seven and then be denied any access to her. Right. I pointed out how it's wrong for him to have went to jail three times mm -hmm. over this child that was right. not his, and he has no recourse. Him. Right. So it sounds like I'm being a real man. You know, like if a nigga fucked your wife and then found out it was your wife and then came to you and said, bro, I did not know. You can't mm -hmm. then say, nigga, you dealing with dirty bitches. Why well, can't I say that? He's saying to you, you can't because what you're saying is <laughs> you're literally dealing with dirty bitches. Time, please. And a lot of times in life, you don't know people. And I'm talking about your own family. You don't know people until you know people. And that's the human experience. And I want all y'all, if you listen to somebody like him who tells you they knew everything from the dope, then he wouldn't have that white ass background. He wouldn't be renting. I wouldn't be doing better than him if he knows so much. It'd be impossible. I wouldn't be sitting up here getting paid talking while he doing it for free. It'd be impossible. Because he know everything. So, like I said, you choose bad women, you have bad experiences, and then you get on the manosphere and complain about... I'm not know. on the manosphere. All right, hop next. That's all. I'm done. Case Told close. you. Case hey, y'all hey, listen to him? Case closed. Okay, since he done, here's what we're going to do. Case closed. I'm not on the manosphere. Anybody who knows me knows I'm not. Anybody who knows me knows <laughs> I'm a... I, I don't sit up there and think that the manosphere is a bunch of good dudes. I talk against them. So for him to sit up there and say what he's saying lets you know just like everybody else, he's just a dick and an asshole and a pussy ass nigga who told me if I if he ever saw me in my face, he'd do something. So I pray to God that one day you see me and I bet your bitch ass won't. We'll leave it at that. I heard that. I heard my schedule is always online. And if I'm ever in your city, you got to jump on me, bitch. So remember that. Follow me, know where I'm at, and do what you said you going to do. That's no what I'm going to need you to do. No problem. Say less. So, I like so, fighting. Yeah. So let me, let me, let me, let me catch up on the Super Chats real quick. And then we'll continue to have the call. Y'all appreciate y'all be safe. Do the right thing, man. Like, share, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. And we out.